Brooklyn, New York, 1998. What a shithole. The rats were so big, you had to start charging them rent. Here we have a shot of the theater. I used to go there all the time as a child. But what lurks underneath is something a lot more horrifying than the theater. What am I talking about? Is that, are we in? I hate this damn city. The rich are up there in penthouses enjoying life, while the poor are down here on the street struggling for a bite to eat. My whole 45 years, they promised me I'd be there one day. But it was all lies. I'm still stuck down here, forced to guard these fucking trains for peanuts. Oh, okay. This looks, uh... Okay, I'm just making sure that my capture isn't lagging, because it was lagging at the very start. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to a game called Homeless. So, I, I believe the synopsis, or whatever the word is for this game, is we are a night guard looking after a subway station at night. Or at least looking after the trains, I imagine, that what he just said. And I'm guessing we have to go into the subway station to um, maybe deal with a potential threat or something like that. Okay, here we go. Do we just climb up the, onto the train? No. So this is made in Unreal Engine 5. That's why the graphics are beautiful. Here we go. Here's the security booth. This is where we are. Look at that. Look at these little reflections. Isn't that beautiful? Tell you what, guys. When they refine Unreal Engine 5 with graphics like this and smooth, weighty kind of like, you know, like responsive kind of gaming, it's going to be amazing. So here we go. Let's jump into this. Okay, nice little uh, monitors here. We can see the whole of the... I'm guessing it's just this one subway station that we're guarding here. Um, 1998, Brooklyn, New York. Okay, what's this? Here we are, that's us. Albert Smith. Expire... Okay, whoa, it expires on freaking September 11th. Okay, tonight shift station guards, New York Metro stations. Subject, preventing unauthorized entry of homeless individuals into metro station precincts during night hours. Dear team, it has come to our attention that there has been an increase in incidents where homeless individuals seek refuge within the station confines overnight. While we empathize with their plight, their presence poses significant safety risk to both themselves and our patrons. Number one, monitoring station entrances. Ensure all entry points are monitored regularly throughout the night to deter unauthorized access. Prompt Number two, prompt reporting. Immediately report any sightings or attempts of unauthorized individuals trying to enter restricted areas of the station. Number three, compassionate engagement. When encountered, engage with homeless individuals with compassion and guide them towards appropriate support services outside the station premises. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Chief Officer, New York City Subway System Security. Okay, so that's our job, to keep the homeless cold, basically. That's cool. Ah, uh, I gotta go check those CCTV cameras again. I'm beat. Okay. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so that's the entrance to the subway. That's one of the platforms. This game reminds me of The Darkness, it was called, on Xbox 360. Um, that was based in Brooklyn, New York as well, I think, actually. So, that's probably why it reminds me. Hang on. Is that something... What is that? Okay, no, never mind. Oh, man, another power outage. Gotta go fix the issue. Okay. Well, let's just have a little look around first. So that's us. Now let's turn around. Does it... Hang on. No. Okay, it doesn't... Okay. Okay, I think we're... You know what, let's just go check it out. So let's go down. Do I need anything? Is there like a flashlight or anything that I pick up? No? Okay, do we close this door? Yeah, let's keep that warm in, shall we? 
It would be a lot louder than this, surely. In New York. It's very quiet. Okay. Game saved. Here we go. Oh, wow, that lag. That was insane. Oh, it's still lagging. I think it's rendering in. I do like the way this game looks. It's really nice. Triple X, eh? Wait, hey, where are we going? Where are we going, buddy? It's very claustrophobic here, isn't it? Look at that. Look how moody that is. It's very moody. Uh, we open this door. No, it's locked. Okay, don't have access there. Uh, can we get a soda? Nope. Okay. Right. Ooh, there's some some creepy sound effects happening here. I need a key. Don't tell me I need to go back to the office to get the key. Okay. Oh god, if that's the case. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. Let's do that again. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're going through. Okay, so we don't need the key. I'm, I beg your pardon? What was that? Someone slashing? Someone shooting a music video in London? Oh wow, okay, hang on. This world has had nothing for me. I wish to die, but I have no money for a coffin, nor money for a priest to say a prayer for me at my burial. Wow, that's, a, that's unfortunate. What's this? Uh, amoxicillin. Amoxicillin? Antibiotics for infection. I love that, like, the, the, the thought of, like, them writing exactly what it's for in the front. This is medication for if you have an itchy ass. The person taking this medicine has an itchy ass. What's this? Is this more of it? Jeez. How bad is that ass infection, bro? And he's got a pack of tissues here. What's this man getting up to? Let's go down here. There was a, the knocking sounds came from down here. Join the team. This is so bright. I can't even see what's on them. Hey man, this is like 1998. This is peak friends was around during this time. This was uh, this time period that we're in currently was probably peak time period. But, but like before 9/11 like things i imagine i was only like i don't know how old i was four or five years old but i imagine it was definitely just ha a happier time lucky stars oh cigarettes okay i can't really see much is there something here i'm meant to do this computer's broke okay let's continue on Okay, what, what room is, uh, I'm guessing this is, oh, here's the key. Okay, the key that we need. Why don't we pick up this as well? It's probably used for crowd control. Let's pick it up now. Let's just d deafen someone, deafen the monster to death. Deafen the monster to death. Yeah, hello. We're closed now, sir. We're gonna head back to, something's gonna appear here. Something's gonna happen. You gotta be prepared, guys. So, oh, do I? Uh, okay. Wow, one ticket gets you unlimited access. That's insane. Okay. We've got the key. Here we go. So how did this homeless man get in? You know, it's something that I always ask myself when it comes to Resident Evil games and stuff. Like, we need a key and like multiple keys by the way to get around the the mansion or whatever but then you see people like wesker or like other characters somehow just were there like what have you got the master give me that key give me that master key how are you here do you know how long it took me to get this key to get that key to then get this key and you just want want like wonder in fuck off wesker okay, here we go Okay, done. Do we go back now to our post? 
Let's go back. Who's there? Do I really want to walk towards this? Tell, please tell me we're armed. We must be armed, right? We're, we're, we're an American living in New York. We have rights. We're a security guard. Come on. Have you ever heard the cry of a hungry man? Oh god, I don't like this. No. Did I need to pick that up? Do I turn around and there, there's a big man? What was that? Is it this door? Here we go. Okay. What's this? Okay, it's a mom and a dad. Son. A uh, little scarecrow looking kid. Hello? Sir? Hello, sir? Are you there? Don't be afraid of the shadows in the alleys. It's me watching you. Well, that's fun. Right, let's go have a look. Okay. There's nowhere else to go here. Do I turn this off? Oh. Oh. Okay. That was really well done. F forcing you to look into that dark bit. Lost family, lost home, lost everything. Uh oh. Bro, this guy has got some like... Was this written by an android? From Detroit Become Human? That's some very neat handwriting right there. And how many... How much How much Sharpie did they use to, uh, to write that? Rock and roll. Ooh. Help. What is this? Are these, are these like the maintenance tunnels that we're in? Homeless, hopeless. Excuse me, sir. You can't be here. We're going to have to trick you out onto the street. Something's going to happen. Likely another homeless has entered the area again. Let's go have a look. But, like, he would have had to... Okay, never mind. Are we back where we started? Okay, we are. Right, so we go back to the security office, and I'm guessing we check the cameras, and we're going to see a big, tall, homeless man there, naked, covered in oil, covered in, sh like, feces, ready to wrestle. Has that been on this whole time? I like this aspect of it. Is there, is there like a face there? Can you guys see that? In the doorway? Oh, no, I'm seeing things. Okay, that was where we just were. This is the platform here. Oh, it would be creepy if it was behind us, right? That might be what happens. Oh! Wow, would you look at this? What the hell is- What the hell is this guy doing at the station at this hour? Bro, are you not gonna ask why he's Slender Man's cousin? Oh my god! It's not Lord Farquaad, but like the- uh, uh, an alternate version. You good, bro? Probably nothing. How do we get there? Do we not have a gun? Okay. Well, here we go then. Oh, here we go. We have to go through this way. Okay, interesting. Here we go. It's nice, nice ambience here. Nice lighting. I want to get home and watch Friends. Don't try anything. 
Joey and Rachel might be together again. Well, I guess it's Ross and Rachel, but you know what? Whatever. Joey did have his have his moment there. Oh, the, the lag between the loading screens is ferocious. All right, just let it load in. Oof, that's a nice squeaky door. Let's get some WD-40 on those hinges, man. Hello? Is someone in here? Is someone in here? Hello? This is private property. Well, right now it is anyway. You need to leave. Oh, here we go. So someone's been stood here, look. And there's blood here. Jesus, this is the horrible crime. He put his head in a freaking microwave, man. That's not going to taste good. What are we looking at here? We need to turn this. Oh my goodness. What is this? Syringe. This is a very rare original antique solid brass old Indian rare original rare injection. Okay, wow. Did you like search the, the definition on Google for that? That's crazy. What does it say? Special fruit juice order for vulture. Blend of human eye and brain. Oh, just what I ordered. It's behind me. There's something behind me. Okay. Are we done here? Is there anything else I need to pick up? Battery, gas, okay, let's go. Ooh, it's very well done this, it's very well done. That's a huge head by the way. Oh, that's a big head. Or is it? I don't know. Is that a mask there as well? It's like a plague mask? Doctor's mask. Is often seen as a symbol of death and disease. Right. So is this guy like the king of the homeless? Which way did we come from? Alright, let's go down here. It's a new stand. Okay, I guess we follow that. Inner demon. Oh god, he's releasing his sigma male. The wolf is coming out. I scream my loneliness amidst crowded streets, but no one hears. I'm sorry, man. Listen, I just worked the night shift. Uh, this just opened. Okay. Let's go in. What was that? Yeah, I get, like, the vibes of, like... Because I take Max Payne, but Max Payne was based in New York as well, so I'm guessing I'm just getting all the vibes of, like, games that were based in New York. The Darkness, Max Payne, um, what other games are like this? They'll come to me, probably. Okay, what has happened here? Well, that wasn't meant to happen. He's messing up all the systems. Damn it! What's this? Manufacturing trains cabin at... Alston, New York City facility. The fir the visit of the mayor to the Brooklyn subway station, 1928. Oh, so this is going way back. Oh, no, no, never mind. Manufacturing metro cabin at, okay, New York City. Uh, okay. New York subway system worker strike. Workers on the opening day of the Brooklyn station. Group photo. Of, I mean, the, you gotta think. These guys, they built this, guys. That you know, the the systems that we take for granted were built on the backs of hardworking men. So, um, interesting. So, what was it trying to show me? What's this? Bag plaster. Smoke. I think we need one of these smokes. In honesty. Do we go upstairs? No. Okay. 
There's water running from the toilet. Sorry. <clears throat> There's water running from the toilet. Uh, God, I'd hate to think what kind of water that is. Just brown, murky. Oof. I love this, though. I love the ambience. Like, if that homeless guy was here, he would just peek over these, like, stools. Do I have to open these doors? I don't think there's anything I can do here unless I can shut the water off at a valve, maybe. Yeah, caution. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's a valve. Okay. Something is going to appear. Surely something's going to... That guy just took a freaking dookie. He, okay, I'm, I can't open the doors, so I'm leaving. See you later. We go into the man's toilet. Oh, we're locked in. I'm closing this door behind me. Good lord, is this what... Mate, we need to really work on this freaking... It doesn't look like this, does it, in the New York... Anyone watching this from New York? Oh god, it's so laggy. It can't look like this, surely. Like, like a super used facility. Like, surely you'd, you'd want to keep it clean. I mean, I know, like, train station toilets are freaking dirty, but when it comes to, like, when I go to Birmingham and stuff, the toilets are clean. Here we go. Oh, good God. The guy shat so hard, his head blew off. Okay, subject agreement for transfer of penthouse in Manhattan. Both parties acknowledge that the penthouse is being sold in its current conditions and no warranties or guarantees are provided. August 8th, 1998. Salah, Mr. Robert Coo uh Buyer Vulture. Address Empire Penthouse... Manhattan, 250 million? 250 million? That is insane for this time period. I could be shitting here right now. I'd feel so violated. What's jigsaw? It's jigs... Bro? I'm trying to shit in here. I would not have opened that door, I'm just saying. Mate, I would have been absolutely terrified. It's like Jigsaw just grew seven feet tall. I'm going down here. We're leaving. Yeah, that guy, whatever. I'm getting a new job. Bro, it's not that deep, man. Listen, it's not my fault that you're homeless. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that you're homeless. We're all just trying to make a living here, man. What, the escalators are kept on overnight? That seems like a bit of a waste of power. Okay, this bit specifically reminds me of the game Darkness that I was referring to, because in that game, you go down into a subway station, and it's like a connecting area, I guess, and there's little side quests you can do. Oh, there's one way you have to pick up coins off the track and there's another dude um who's like you got a problem tough guy and he's like his mouth just stays open um and then you're like yeah i got a problem i'm gonna beat your ass i don't know why like i think oh yeah he he didn't like a guy playing a harmonica or something because he said it annoyed him 
And so he said, um, I'm going to shove that harmonica up your... What are you guys doing here? Am I in the shadow realm? Hello? Is this... Whoa! Oh my god. I'm having some kind of fit here. Alright, what is the number then? We find it somewhere. Four, five, six, eight. Could that be it? Four, five, six, eight. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Eight, seven, B, okay, three, okay, seven, three, eight, seven, three, eight, seven. Let's go, baby. I'm the king of this game. We're get, where are we going? We're going into the, the, the God, seriously. Whoever you're hiring to tidy up these subway stations, fire them immediately, okay? Don't let them anywhere near a cleaning job ever again. Because if they're being paid for this, God, my God, I'd hate to see what their house looks like when they're not being paid for it. Okay. Yeah, it's locked. What is this? Those Monday morning blues, take happy, be happy. Beat the Mondays. Okay, so it's like, um, freaking we happy few. Comfort redesigned. That looks like the most disgusting chair ever. It looks like someone's like fatted a hole into space and time into the fabric of that chair. Okay, I can go through here. This is good. Right. I like this mechanic here. Please leave me alone. I have no shelter. Get out. Who are you? What are you doing here? I don't mess with anyone. Please leave me alone. I have no shelter. Please. Don't worry, my friend. I won't harm you. I just want to know if you've seen a tall homeless man named Vulture around here. I've been here the whole time and I don't know any other homeless people. Please don't kick me out. I think you're lying. You will never take us alive. Bro, this subway just is... Uh, we need, we need, like... From the, the ground up, from the foundations up, we need to change, okay? This is awful, this is disgusting. Okay. What's that? Oh, there he is. You gonna jump in front of the train, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, where are we going? What? What is this? Where are we going? Okay, so is this... It's another train. I gotta call the cops right now before I come become his next meal. Okay, so we ended up back. Okay, that makes no sense because we were going down. We went down unless we went up in that elevator. Yeah, I guess we did, yeah. Are you still here? Yeah, I'm just gonna call the police. Bro, 
Crow. Do I approach you? See the stranger for the first time. Who's the stranger? Oh man, I would I would resign from this job immediately. Shit, the phone's dead. Okay, so what do we do now? That's us. Maybe, I, oh, hang on. Maybe I'll go outside and there's a... Oh, I'm locked in. This isn't good. Okay. Oh, God. It feels like this guy wants to turn my night into a total nightmare. Okay. I am hungry. Can I eat you? No! No, you can't eat me. Bro, get... Get strapped with a freaking gun, okay? <laughs> right in that guy's head. Here we go, then. Little kitty cat's mine. They're getting into a fight. Cats just fight over nothing, man. They're just, they're just throwing hands all the time. Or throwing paws, sorry. Recording still looking good. Stutters every now and then, so it scares me. Where in the name of Jesus does this lead, then? Can I pick these up? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay, so I think I place this here like this. Place this on top like this. Alpha, stop! How much of these weigh? I'm gonna, like, put my foot on this and go straight through it. They, they have no weight to them. One, two, three. I don't know why this is a thing, but... Go to the right here. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. I can't see anything, unless... Uh, am I meant to open this? Oh my god, a flamethrower! Okay. Do I open up this one? Is it like a fire extinguisher maybe? Or uh, what, why do I need this? Oh, hang on. Okay, now I can come down here. Interesting. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't really want to go there, to be fair. Are you going to make me go there? Okay, sure thing. Okay, yeah, we're just going to go back. Okay, there is something. Okay, maybe we go to the right side here. Okay, these are obviously is where the gas valve is. Ah, here we go. Right, this door looks like it was specifically de designed for that tool man. What is that, a furnace? What is that? Why have we got that here? Alright, buddy. You ain't running that fast. Oof, here we go, into a new area. Seriously, this place needs a complete workover. This is disgusting. No? Okay, is it going to be something behind me? No? Good lord! Okay, where are we? We're in a back alley. Are we... Are we back... 
Where are we? Go through this door? No. Oh my god. The neighborhood. The neighborhood looks familiar. Okay. Wow. That is, uh. Not sounding good. Oh, I don't like this. Fine, here we go. Nope, I can't go in there. Can't go in there. The door to the right here. So, this thing here. Okay. What is this sound then? Oh, it's an elevator. What's inside the package? Bro, who are you? Walking around in your trench coat and your gimp mask. Are we going on to the same floor together? Or like... Can you stop looking at me? Jeez. So how about them socks? How about those red socks, huh? Okay, see you later. My god, is everywhere in this city just like, depraved like this? And is that someone being shot with a silencer? What is going on in this city? The real horror of this is New York. And the residents that live inside it. There's a dead person there! Police line! They just, straight up, they came, right? They thought, okay, yep, there's been a murder. Let's put him in a body bag. Let's put a tap over him and let's fucking go. Let's just leave. Bro, you're not going to scare me with that, okay? Oh my god, this is this is making me depressed. I'm not gonna lie. Eviction notice. Mr. Joe Smith. Due to unpaid rent totaling $1,550, this letter serves as firm formal notice that you must vacate the property at 16839 Brooklyn. Okay, 1972. Please remove all belongings and leave the property in good condition. Okay, so this big homeless man was called Joe Smith. Okay, we're going into his property right now. Joe Smith. I think this might be the house we lived in when I was a kid. Wait, we lived in? Oh, okay, interesting. So it was, maybe it's the dad? A 19, okay, so it's 20 years. That makes, that makes no sense because it's 1998 and this guy's 40 odd years old now, 45. So he'd have been 25 in 1978 or whenever that was. He wasn't a kid at all. He was a fully grown man. Uh, okay, we're on the we're on the ass pills as well, are we? It's a damn shame. Okay. This meant to be about the dad. Oh god. Oh god. Is that us? Hey kid. I lost my car. Can someone find it? I must find his toy. It's right there, buddy. Okay, sure, we'll find your toy. That's just granny falling on it over again. It's all good. It's the second time today. Broken three of her hips, even though she's got two of them. What well, I mean is she... New York police, please open the door. What does that say? Aren't you amazed at how much we look alike?
Who? Yeah, what, the kid? It can't be us. I swear to God, the guy said he was 45 years old or something like that. 1978, well, this is based in 1998, which means 1970 or whenever this was, he would have been 25 at least, or in his early 20s at the very least. Oh, here we go. Found the car. Lovely. It took a while. Oh God, please. Listen, I just want to get this freaking... No, we're good. Okay, kid, here you go. Here's your car. Oh. Oh, you're you're the kid? <laughs> Okay, so now we're on the freaking... We're on a, we're on a river? Yeah, would you look at that? It's the World Trade Center. He hates this city just like I do. So now with you, bro. <laughs> Oh, we were the killer all along. We killed. And now we're in... Who's, gi who's giving us Sharpies, man? Now we're in like a concrete block? In a demon. Okay, we're inside the station. Oh. What happened to you, buddy? What just happened? How did this happen? Well, shotgun. Pick it up. Oh, hell yeah. Right. God is dead. Well, you're about to be too, bitch. Let's go. Reload. Come on then! Where are you? Come on out! Bang! Come on then! Come run at me from this hallway, I dare you. Do it. Go on. Yo, I'm dead! Can we just talk about the whole, like, biker falling through a grate and, like, just having a shotgun on him? Like, what was this man doing? The bastard wants to take the fall for murder. I gotta kill him. Oh, okay, so it wasn't us that's the killer. Uh, or is it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to shoot him in the head multiple times. Here we go. Get ready to back up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Back off, dude. How many shells do we have? Get ready. Any corner now. Any corner. Could be a dead corner. A dead end, if you will. Here we go. There's going to be another one down here. Get ready to run. Woo! Got him four times. In a demon. In a sigma. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Okay, that one was five times. Okay, this guy is obviously not... The, the inner demon 
So th this guy represents us. So we are a killer. Can you go? I'm gonna go this way. I did it! Look at this man. Okay, Count Olaf or whatever his name is. That's what you get, buddy. Oh, he's smiling. He's still alive. This isn't good. Albert, after killing Vulture, reported the incident to the police. The crime police found no trace of a body or any evidence of Vulture's existence. Albert tried to convince the officers that the murder of the man in the bathroom was Vulture's doing, but based on the evidence, the police concluded that Albert was a psychopath and that he had committed the murder himself. Albert was prosecuted and spent the rest of his life in a mental institution. Damn, that's a shame. Right. Okay. They're going to be like... This like the ending of The Shining. We're going to see that we was there all along. There, look. There he was. What does this mean? So there is like a like a bad spirit in there that overtakes people that and makes them commit murders maybe. An evil spirit. I'm getting a little boy here. An evil spirit. There he is. That's very shining esque right there. Homeless. Okay, Dark Phobia Games. That was a pretty cool game. Very interesting. Very atmospheric. I think the story, I would say, is very kind of, like, um, typical. Oh, here we go. Three years later. I fucking hate this city. Oh, my God. Three years. Wait. Bro, this is 2001. Are we going to see a plane right now? Three years later from 1998. Third anniversary brutal subway murder continues to baffle New York. Newspaper headline in 10th of September 2001. Okay, so this is the... The day before. Look how beautiful this is though. But are we on the 11th now, or are we on the 10th? Okay. Right. I mean, we're one day away from the world completely changing. Here we go. Oh, for God's sake! To be continued? Good Lord! Well, there we go, guys. I was homeless. Like I said, it was very atmospheric, but I feel like the story is very kind of, um typical of this thing like oh you turned out to be the killer all along or you know you're being possessed or whatever i mean the design of the guy was pretty freaking cool he's creepy um and i do like the atmosphere and i do like you know um the sound design and stuff but yeah i guess it's hard to come up with like a, a unique story nowadays um still you know i'm not knocking it i couldn't do something like this so yeah, guys, go check the game out for yourself if you want. It's on Steam called Homeless. But there we go. That is today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not leave a like rating down below. Subscribe if you enjoyed this content. This is partly what I do. I do analog horrors mainly. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.